This is Harvey Corman, the actor. <laughs> 200 years ago today, the British Army, under the command of General Burgoyne, was moving along the Mohawk in an attempt to split the colonial army by advancing along the Hudson River in hopes of besieging them at Albany. The morale of the ragtag revolutionary troops was low. But one young drummer boy, inspired by the cause, <laughs> rallied the troops with his heroism. <laughs> his name, Warren Holt. Now, though he was far younger and less hardened than some of the veterans around him, his patriotism was aroused when the first shot was fired. <laughs> It was his rhythmic drumbeat that led his fellow soldiers ever forward. <laughs> Even into the face of the enemy cannon fire. <laughs> the only answer seemed to be retreat. But this notion was quickly dispelled when the revolutionary forces answered with their own cannon fire from the rear. <laughs> now, hopelessly separated from his company, there seemed nothing left to play for. However, as long as that dim spark of patriotism was still smoldering within him, he knew he must play on. Play on, play on, play on. And then, far off in the distance, he heard something. Huh? I said, far off in the distance, he heard something. I can't hear anything. Right? What was it he heard well, in the distance? I'll on that. I, uh... It was the roar of a cannon. And, and, a, and a ball, too. And, uh... But before he could reach his beleaguered comrades, huh? he was set upon by a roving band of divorcees. Huh? Oh. Who were making their way westward in a covered massage parlor. <laughs> but his patriotism and devotion to duty gave him the strength and the courage to break free. Huh? Yes, he broke free. <clears throat> no, he went with the uh, girls. <laughs> As history says, the drummer boy broke free. You show me a drummer boy that didn't go with the broads, I'll show you. Yes. His patriotism and devotion to duty gave him the strength and courage to break free, take up his drum, and beat out the cadence that inspired his troops to victory. And that's the way it was 200 years ago today. No, this is the way it was 200 years ago.